Today we've got another painted nail art for you. Um, I decided to try and paint a deer on my nail. Which I'd never done before, so that was quite interesting. Um, so yeah, the base color is Peace Touch by Sinful Colors. And I also use heaps and heaps of very cheap acrylic paint. Like, this is literally the cheapest set I could find. And I also use this tiny detail brush. And for top coat, I use the Catrice gel like top coat this time because I finally ran out of Essence top coat. Um, so yeah, I decided to just paint the deer on one of my nails because again, I'd never done it before, so I had absolutely no idea as to how it would turn out. Um, for the background, I just wanted the backdrop of trees, so I just made sort of fake tree shapes in one shade of green. Then quickly layered over them with another shade of green, and because it's still winter, I also layered over them with snow. And I'm doing all of this while the paint is still wet, so I can very easily just wipe off the brush and then use the relatively clean-ish brush to just mix it all together to make it look more natural, I guess. Like, I didn't want the background to be very detailed, so, yeah. Just sort of blended together, sort of like fake tree shapes. And then for the deer itself, I decided to paint it at an angle, because the trick with painting things at an angle is that it looks... It looks better, it looks more professional than, you know, from like, just really completely from the side, I guess. I don't know, I think the trick with painting, while you're not good at painting, like I am, I just absolutely suck at painting. Um, the trick is to just do it in a way that makes it look way more complicated and way more artful than it actually is. Um, so yeah, that's my strategy. So I just started out with the vague outline and then just filled it in with brown and then did some highlighting with another shade of brown. And I decided to do some white spots and white stuff on the ears. It's sort of supposed to be a deer like Bambi. I have no idea what species of deer that is because I'm not a biologist. And yeah. I think actually like I'm also doing antlers on this deer and I think even that species only has antlers when they're still baby or the. Only have spots when they're still babies and obviously don't have antlers yet when they're still babies. But I just mix it together because I think it looks cute. Like it doesn't have to be a nature documentary, just a cute deer. And yeah, just carefully with the eyes as well. The eyes are always the most difficult part in my opinion just because they're so very tiny on the nails. And I don't know, if you do the eyes wrong it's going to look terrifying and creepy and evil-ish. And I wanted it to look cute so I spent a whole lot of time on the eyes. Uh, once they were finally done, I went on to the antlers. I know they're actually more of a, yeah, just a very, very faint brown color. Um, but I thought it would blend in too much with both the background, with the snow, and also with the deer itself. So I decided to do them yellow instead. Again, <laughs> this is not a biology documentary. Um, and the one that's behind the other one, I just did a slightly darker shade of red, just to make them, you know, stand out from each other a little bit more. And then I also outline them a little. Not with complete black, but black blended with some brown. Because I didn't want the outline to be too harsh. Oh, and also one thing that's very nice about wet acrylic paint, as long as it's wet, if you wipe off your brush, you can just squeeze it and push it around a little bit um, to fix some mistakes. Just tiny mistakes, but, you know, it's very useful. So yeah, just carefully did that. And then on the other nails, I decided to do it easier. Um, I just, you know, threw a whole lot of brown on them and then some white dots. Pretty much just like the back of the other deer. And then I decided it looked too simple, so I added a little bit of brown at the edges, like darker brown at the edges. And then lastly, when the paint is dry, it's time for top coat to seal it all in and make sure it doesn't wash off in water. And then that is the final result. Really had a lot of fun painting this, like I obviously need to practice with painting deer. Um, but still, I really enjoyed painting this. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!